not see. What should the thing be? Hmm. Well, let's see, Marie's brother's coming in town, so... <gasps> Penguin Heritage! Yes, that's it, Penguin Heritage! Yes, Maria's brother will love that! Penguin Heritage! Hmm. But what was his name? James? No. no. Jerry? We'll figure that out later. The decor should be bold, yet respectful, dignified, but still fun. Hmm. Everyone, what, what should they- <gasps> Tuxedos! Everyone will wear tuxedos! Yes, yes, yes! Linda! Linda, darling! Please, dress my new tuxedo and press it while you're at it too! It needs to be dry cleaned! Yes, yes, oh, this will be magnificent! Everything will be great and- ooh, ooh! I do hope the geese will be here in town. They'll be so impressed. They might even donate to the town's historical preservation fund. Hmm, yes. <laughs> no, let me just... Oh. Oh, dear heavens. How could I let my hair go like this? How could I let it go so far? I look like a wild beast from the outskirts. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot plan a festival looking like this. I must make an appointment with the barber immediately. Yes, let me... Where's my phone? Um, Jane? Jane? Oh yes, here's my phone. Hello? Hello, yes, is this Elton? Elton Eagles Barbershop. Wonderful! Yes, I need to make an appointment as soon as possible. Today? Oh yes, 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 that would be stupendous. Right now? Hmm, well, I, I suppose. I will leave immediately. Thank you, dear sir. Linda? Linda, darling? I am going off to go get my hair cut. I will be back. When I get back, I expect my new tuxedo to be pressed and dry cleaned. Mm, yes, yes. I'm off to the barber shop. Good day. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Maybe a little shorter on the sides. It's kind of hard to be shorter. It would ruin the look. But, but I came in specifically for the sides. The top needs far more attention than the sides. Not to mention the back. What's wrong with the back? It's atrocious, far too fluffy and matted. You'll start molting if you don't address this situation soon. But, but I'm a bear. We can't molt. Not that we know of, but I've never seen a situation this bad before. We're in unknown territory. Elton, I don't- Yes, it is I, the mayor. Chase, get down to my establishment. But, but what about my hair? It's beautiful, but- but what about the back? Perfect! Stunning! Absolutely fabulous! Wouldn't change a thing! Now, get out! My next client is here! But, but what about- I'll send you the bill, and we'll go from there, okay? Good day to you, sir. What might I, the mayor, do to support this fine barbershop? Well, you have an appointment, sir. Ah, yes, indeed. I knew that. I was just testing you. Of course you did, sir. You're a very wise and knowledgeable man. Why don't you come and have a seat and we can begin? Oh, well, yes, thank you. Thank you, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Now, what kind of style are you going for today? Hmm, something... Something distinguished. Something that says, ah, oh, yes, he is the mayor. Of course, sir. And might I say, you are such a good mayor that... Oh, yes. Well, thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go retrieve some tools and go get some hair clippers and slippers and whatnot. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, yeah, I've come back now. I have all the equipment I need to make sure we have a successful haircut, yeah. Oh, yes, why, thank you. You know, I've been planning such a lovely festival for all the citizens in, of Snowden, in honor of Maria's brother. I, it will be so spectacular to celebrate Penguin Heritage. Oh, before I forget, make sure you get your tuxedo ready. we Will do, sir. Yeah. Ya. Oh my, my, look at the time. Well, could you hurry it up a little bit? There's so, so much that needs to be done. As you wish. I still must finish planning, not to mention all the landscaping. There's so much that needs to happen. The lawn is so overgrown. For how short would you like to go, sir? It must be shaved. Whatever you say. Then we need to prune the trees and shrubs, and that's all before we start decorating.
Then there's the food. I'm thinking we theme the food after krill, shrimp, and fish, but add a new flair to celebrate the diets of our flightless birds. I mean, friends. But we don't limit the diet to one of our more sensitive citizens. And voila! My masterpiece is complete. Splendid. I can't wait to see it. Where is your mirror? I never use mirrors. Everyone loves my results. But, but I'd love to see my hair. You look fantastic. Very in style. Well, if, if you say so. Trust me, sir. You look fabulous. And exactly how you want. Well, in that case, I'll go off and show your beautiful work for all my daily business check-ins. Magnificent! Everyone will be so pleased with your look. You're going to be such a trendsetter. Well, thank you, Walton. Have a good day. And good day to you too, sir. Oh, hello, Chase. How are you doing today? Uh, uh, good. great, sir. Thank you for asking. Wonderful. Good to hear. Well, how's the family? I'm just going to go this way. People these days. Probably all the kids, but it's okay. Oh, hello, Melvin. How are you doing today? Well, I'm just... Oh, I mean, I'm just doing dandy, sir. Don't like me. Good to hear. Well, do you, do you have any emails today? I, I sure do, but it just happens to be this way. I'll see you later, sir. Mail time, I suppose. Okay. Oh, hello, Isaac. How are you doing today? There must be something wrong with all the people today. Interesting. Oh, how I do love a good folktale. Dear, the salmon will be ready in 15 minutes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm, fascinating. Darling, are you listening to me? Of course, dear. Invisible clothes. <laughs> Such a clever ruse. Good afternoon. It is I, the mayor. Good evening, Leonard. Is it really that late evening? Mm, my mind. That time really does fly. Indeed. Mm. <laughs> what an interesting choice. <laughs> so, um, how are things here at the library? Marvelous and truly fascinating. You, um, do you notice anything about me? Mm, what's that? Walter. Hmm? Walter. Hmm? Walter. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, great googly, googly, oh, oh. So, um, what do you think? What happened to your hair? Elton, the barber cleaned me up and made me look good for the festival. So, um, how's it look? He said it was going to be the next big thing, that I'd be a trendsetter. Elton still refuses to use the mirror, doesn't he? Well, he doesn't believe in them. Well, I would look in one if I were you. Well, let me look at this one. He guys, oh! Oh, what did he do to me? Oh, oh, Leonard, it's not that bad. Oh, I have a bald spot here and there. Oh, I, did, I look terrible. Oh, oh, I'll have to call the festival off. Maria's brother will never respect our town. Who could look at a mayor like this? Little ever respect a mayor like this. I don't think. What if they choose Ottawa, the geese? Oh, the geese. They'll never come to Snowden. They'll, they'll, they'll have to pick a new summer home. They'll go to Ottawa. Ottawa, do you understand me? Ottawa! Get a hold of yourself, Leonard. What? Oh, yes, 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 I may. I might have gotten a little carried away there, but can you blame me? I'm shared like a sheep! You know, I think your little predicament reminds me of this fascinating book I've been reading. Is that so? Yes, 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 yes. It's a timeless little folktale written by Hans Christian Andersen, the same man who wrote the stories The Ugly Duckling, the Little Mermaid, and the Princess and the Pea. Well, what's this story about? It is called The Emperor's New Clothes. What an interesting title. Indeed! You see, in a far-off kingdom, there once lived a, a good and just emperor. Like me, the mayor. But he had a weakness, and that was his vanity. Oh. The Emperor loved beautiful clothing, and every day he would try on new clothing, just to get more and more extravagant, until one day, these two scoundrels walked into his court, 
and they told this vain emperor that they could weave him the most beautiful clothing, prettier than anyone had ever seen. But there was a catch. Well, what was the catch? Only the smartest and wisest of people could see it, this immaculate garment. To everyone else, it would appear invisible. Invisible? Yes, invisible. Now, of course, this was just a cunning ruse thought of by these two swindlers to get the emperor to pay them money. But the emperor, being very proud and very vain and wanting to appear very smart and wise to his noblemen, he pretended that he could see this garment. Are you saying that Elton as a swindler? No, 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 of course not. I'm just saying Elton did exactly what you thought he wanted him to do. No. What about the Emperor, then? Well, these two crooks pretended to weave this immaculate garment out of this invisible fabric and dressed him up in it. They paraded around in town to show off this new clothes. But they weren't really there. Exactly! So, so this means the Emperor was going around in his undergarments, yes! Surely his subjects would have told him something. No, 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 you see, all of his subjects were very kind. Albeit a little proud of themselves, they didn't want to embarrass the Emperor. They all had heard that the garment was visible to those of great wisdom. So they kept seeing like they were smart and keeping their mouths shut. All but one little boy who in all of his innocence cried out amongst the crowd, the Emperor has no clothes. Well, what happened then? The whole crowd burst into laughter as the Emperor rushed back into this palace. For you see, they, including the Emperor, had all realized it was a trick and just a mere ruse. All had been in naught but the Emperor's vanity and pride. None of them would have fallen for it. So what does that mean for my hair? Nothing! Nothing at all, my dear friend! <laughs> because that is all it is, it's just your hair. It will grow back. The only thing causing your embarrassment is your own vanity. Well, I guess if I wasn't so vain in the first place, I would still have my hair. But what's done is done. I don't think you look bad. And, well, maybe a nice little top hat would suit you. I think I actually have one of my old grandfathers. Let me, let me go check. Well, um, okay, if you, you really insist, I, I don't really know. Here, let's see. Try this on, it might look good on you. Here we are. Let's see how you... <gasps> look at you! You look wonderful! Why? Why, I rather do like it. It makes me look rather distinguished if I do say so myself. Hmm. Maybe if I might change up my tie or wear different color cufflinks. What do you think, Walter? I think we still have some work to do, but you're getting there. All oh, these geese are going to love this look. Why, it will be all on the rage. Everyone will be wearing this, and everyone will be wearing top hats, and everyone will be wearing suits, and not to mention the tuxedos for the festival, along with the suits. Oh, it'll be fantastic. It'll be marvelous for the festival.